Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be testing out SteamOS 3, otherwise known as Steam Deck OS, on this mini PC that I recently took a look at on the channel. Now in that video, we actually added a pretty powerful GPU known as the RTX A2000 and ran Windows with it. If you're interested in checking that out, link for it will be in the description. But in this one, like I mentioned, we're running SteamOS 3. And unfortunately, at the time of making this video, NVIDIA and SteamOS 3 don't pair up very well. Now, we can play games with it, but we don't have access to the on-screen game scope, performance overlay, and even GamePad UI, that's kind of the Steam Deck interface that we're going to be using here with Steam, is very laggy with NVIDIA and Linux right now, so we need to add a Radeon GPU. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of powerful, low-profile Radeon GPUs on the market, and with this mini PC here, that's exactly what we need. This is known as the Dell Precision 3420. It's got a 10th gen i5 CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads, and the only other Radeon GPU that I have that'll fit in here without cutting the exterior of the case is the Radeon RX 6400. Now this PC is really interesting because it does come with a riser card. As you can see here, I've got the RX 6400 in the riser card itself, so half the case kind of just detaches. We can slam our card right in there and just reassemble everything. Single slot cards fit in here perfectly. We don't need any extra power for the RX 6400. So this should work out pretty well. Now it would be nice to have a more powerful GPU like that A2000 with Linux, but we are working with some issues when it comes to SteamOS 3 and Nvidia right now. Once that's fixed, I think the A2000 in this would be perfect. But the setup we're gonna be testing today is the Dell Precision 3240. It's the compact version. We've got an Intel i5-10500. Six cores, 12 threads. We've got a boost in Linux up to 4.2 on all six cores. I've added 16 gigabytes of DDR4 at 2666 running in dual channel. We've obviously got that Radeon RX 6400. It's got four gigabytes of GDDR6. Now for the operating system, we're using Holo ISO. If you're not familiar with this, basically it's the Steam Deck recovery image reworked so we can install it on different systems. I've done a few videos on it. Works out really well with Radeon GPUs and I'm actually excited to see what this mini PC can do with SteamOS 3 installed. All right, so here it is. Everything's been working really well. And in the past, I've tested this with the RX 6400. Uh, we've definitely got a lot more updates since then when it comes to SteamOS 3 itself. And uh, one thing that I'm actually using here, not with all games, but uh, some of them, if we head over here to compatibility, I've installed Proton. So we've got Proton GE, I can choose here. Some games do benefit from it, uh, especially something like Injustice 2, which in this case, I do need to be using Proton in order for it to launch correctly. And you might have noticed uh, this definitely looks a little different than, uh, you know, your Steam Deck's interface. I'm using Decky. I've got a CSS loader installed. That way we can go through and change the theme here. Lots of great ones to download. And we can uh, set this up to look like a pit boy personally kind of like the way this one looks now if we head over here to settings system all the way down you can see we've got that i5 10 500 six cores 12 threads when it comes to the gpu that rx 6400 with four gigabytes of gddr6 vram so it's not the most powerful gpu but uh, again we do have to work with a low profile gpu here and once we really get better support for NVIDIA, adding something like the A2000 to this with SteamOS 3 would be absolutely amazing. But until then, we're working with a Radeon card. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into a little bit of gaming here. And uh, we'll just go with, let's start out with The Witcher 3. One thing I love about having, you know, a more powerful CPU with this is just processing those Vulcan shaders is a lot quicker. So here we have The Witcher 3 1080p low, and with the newest update to The Witcher 3, I am using the DirectX 12 version, so we have access to FSR and dynamic resolution scale. Personally, love the fact that they've added dynamic resolution scale here with this game, because it does work really well on lower end GPUs. I've got it set to 90 FPS, and we're really close to kind of staying there, but obviously with that dynamic resolution scale, it is dropping under 1080p. Personally, I still think it looks good, and I wouldn't mind locking this at 60 FPS. It'll keep us really close to 1080p. 
Next up, we've got Project Cars 2, 1080p high. And I'm going to tell you the truth here. I'm not sure if the resolution is scaling correctly with this game in SteamOS 3 because I've never seen the RX 6400 run this game so well. We're averaging 133 FPS, which leads me to believe the resolution is a bit lower than 1080p, but it still looks great. And you know, I mean, this could be correct. Here's Doom Eternal. It's one of those games that works really well in Linux, but uh, again, with this system, I lost sound. So if I reboot a couple times, I can actually get sound back here. A little bit of a bug that I've run into with uh, SteamOS 3 or Linux in general with this game, but it's very well optimized. And right now we're at 1080p low. We can get an average of around 93 FPS out of this game. I wanted to throw one fighting game in here, and I did test Injustice 2. Medium settings, 1080p there. It's going to run at 60. Same thing with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. This is one of those games that's not really uh, Steam Deck verified or Linux verified at all, but we're at 1080p medium, and every once in a while I do notice some shader stutter going on, and it's really when new effects are on screen, it kind of caches those. So once they're cached, you're not going to have that little bit of a stutter there or a little bit of a lag. This game does run very well on the RX 6400. God of War 900p original settings FSR set to balance. If you want to run this at 1080p, you do have to take FSR to performance and the settings to low to get over 60 with it. Personally, I do think this looks better at 900p original settings. Really good performance here. We're getting an average of 81 FPS with this. And I gotta say, performance has definitely increased with this game on the RX 6400 in the last few months. Further down river, we'll find Horizon Zero Dawn 900p low you know. with FSR set to balance is a totally playable experience. Now we do get really close to going under 60 with it, but through everything that I've tested so far, the lowest I've really seen is around 63 FPS, but on average, we're around 72. Not bad at all, and again, just like God of War, we did have to take this down to 900p. Same thing with Cyberpunk 2077. Low, FSR, balanced, seems to kind of be the case with the RX 6400 and these newer AAA games here. The last two games I tested here are definitely older, but they're great games and a lot of people out there still love playing these. First up, we've got Left 4 Dead 2 1440p Max. So really, when it comes down to it, these Source games, Portal, Portal 2, Half-Life, Half-Life 2, you're going to have a really great time at 1440 with them. And the final one here is Skyrim 1440p max settings. We're at 60 FPS. Remember, this is the original Skyrim game. It's not the remastered version. I personally haven't tested the remastered version. This is the one I like to play, but we're maxed out here at 1440p. I have not seen it dip under 60 FPS, even with lots of particles and characters on screen. So yeah, overall, really impressive performance out of this little machine, given that we're only using that RX 6400. And, uh, you know, that CPU is definitely overkill for the RX 6400, but we're working with this super small form factor PC that only accepts a low profile GPU. And that's what I have to work with here. These Dell Precision compact PCs are coming down in price. Usually you can find them on eBay with no RAM and storage for around $250. Obviously with RAM and storage, it will be a bit more. A lot of them aren't going to come with the GPU, but throwing an RX 6400 in here and running Linux will net you some decent performance at 900p to 1080. But if you really want to max this little system out, the RTX A2000 is definitely where it's at. Running that with Windows made this an awesome little gaming machine, and as soon as Valve and NVIDIA kind of get together and fix those issues with SteamOS and NVIDIA drivers, I will do another video, because uh, this thing with that 10th Gen i5 and an RTX A2000 running Steam Deck OS would be absolutely amazing. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in seeing anything else running on this, or if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to put something like this together, you can pick everything up on eBay and Amazon. I'll leave those links down below just in case you want to mess around with something like this. But that's it for this one. Like always, 
Thanks for watching.